So anyways, like I was saying is uh, we probably should have planned what we were going to talk about, but I just I think, know what uh, we're going to talk about. Oh, nice. Well, I'm Thomas glad somebody's right prepared. Anyway. Dang right. <laughs> so <clears throat> listen, then, guys, if you stay ready, you never got to get ready. <laughs> That's the key. That's, that, that's Coach you got to repeat Ford. that. I got to think key. about that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, first things first, man. NSC 33. How, how the heck did we get to 33 NSCs? Oh, gosh. Well, I, I can't even think right now because we've been up since 7 a.m. And we're literally in the Roosevelt room of the armory. Wah. What time is it right now? <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. That's a good question. What time there are, is there is no, no time idea. when what? it's NSC weekend. 10, 11 o'clock. I'm gonna say, it just is. I'm going to say under 10. Under 10. Okay. <laughs> under well, 10 we'll o'clock. 9.04. And we, we, we're going to be back here at 5.30 a.m.? Yeah. Nice. That's it's good. funny, man. These events, like, time doesn't exist. Nope. <laughs> for us, it's nope. just. Nope. Well, well for some is. of us, Rob. For some of us. <laughs> <laughs> I strategically showed up uh, around 3, 4 o'clock today, and I walked in, and I said, wow, this place looks great. <laughs> <laughs> These guys did an awesome job. Well, I Man, think I had to work today. That's right. They did, they did do a good job, though, getting everything set up. But to, to, to be at NSC 33, I mean, for all of this on, on the set, we've pretty much been here from the beginning. So to be at a spot where you're – We've literally done 32 events before this one. Just kind of seems a bit surreal. I mean, from from your perspective, Brandon. Obviously, your your perspective is so much different now because you went from athlete to kind of in the you know you've always been behind the scenes, but now you're really fully behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I mean, for you as coming off of being an athlete and then now kind of switching roles. I mean, what does it mean to you to be this far down the rabbit hole? Dude, it's crazy because I feel like I got to see all the generations through NSC. I got to see, um, you know, Joey Mantia's um, generation. And then I got to see, you know, there's some guys that still, you know, um, Stephen Carter's going to be here. I got Jeremy Anderson that, that you know, kicked my butt multiple times. Um, but no, being behind the scenes is awesome, man. I love hanging out with you guys. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> I it's, know. It's harder than it sounds good. It's, it's harder than racing. Sure. I'll, I'll put it that way than skating, what, 16 laps the whole night. This is... <laughs> by far harder <laughs> <laughs> definitely a lot more hours but i mean when you you kind of touched on it already but and really this is for all you guys i mean now we've kind of gone to a point where we've seen uh kind of that that initial group of guys kind mm -hmm. of the, the greats in, in my mind right because like you talked about in the last yeah. podcast nostalgia is kind of big yeah it is right but i was talking to someone who um earlier tonight and she said you know this is crazy for me because i remember watching people that were older than me <clears throat> and then I went through this period where, you know, all the top racers were my age. And now she's to the point where now all, you know, not all, but, but a lot of the racers now are like, like younger than her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I saw Ian Workman is trying out she's for NSC. Out. <laughs> like what <laughs> yeah, is going on here? What? So let me, let, so he, he told me at practice and I said, Ian's old enough to try out. I knew Ian was fast enough, but I was laughing because. How is he old enough? How is he old? <laughs> how is he old enough? He might make it too, by the way. He has a good chance. Yeah, There's no he does. Doubt about it. But I mean, just to see that dynamic change from kind of, you know, legends, right? And then new legends. And mm -hmm. now all of a sudden we're really starting on a next generation of potential legends. Yeah. Right? Sure. And I think that's kind of, that really tells a story about how far we've really come. The, the crazy part is I was looking through some of the old NSC pictures. I have like my own personal database of, you know, yourself yeah You're shot, of myself right? yeah, You're yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah for sure that's okay but, but no i've gone through the old photos and when you look back even at the original armory stuff like the first two seasons we had here you look at those pictures and the young kids that are racing in the um in the events during yeah like you, the, you see yeah like you, the, you see the, uh, the, uh, exhibition. adrian you see gabe and you're like these kids are like actual yeah now they're children killing it. yeah it's like whole, yeah. and now they're in the event yeah, it's, there's, it's, 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 it's just, so crazy. It, it really kind of speaks volumes to just <clears throat> where this thing has gone. It's gone from this idea that sounded really good to Miguel. And it sounded really awesome to me when he told me about yeah. it. Right. But now it's, it's like part of the skating culture. Yep. We have an entire generation of kids that have never skated without an NSC. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I think that was the, the weirdest part for me is that I had this very clear vision of what I thought it was. And then trying to articulate that, everybody's looking at me like I speak a different language. <laughs> and to me, I'm like, well, I don't understand. Like, why can't you guys see what I can see? And then every step of the way is closer to the original vision. 
right? And as we grow our team and as more people understand it and those team members start adding value to that, we get closer and closer and closer to that vision. So kind of funny story like, I don't know, for, no, maybe even longer, maybe six or seven years back, uh, Ron and I created a pitch deck for fun. At one point we were thinking about raising some capital and uh, we needed to show people the vision. So we started Photoshopping what we thought NSC would look like and uh, lastly, at Nationals, I started laughing because it looked like our dang pitch deck. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, we were going to use this to go raise money. And somewhere along the line, we just decided just to keep spending our own. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that vision is, is something that, uh, you know, I think we've, we're, we're getting there. But, I mean, just wait. I mean, it's going to keep mm -hmm. elevating. I remember 2009, I had, I mean, that was my first year back. 2009 nationals. I mean, it was like a five year hiatus for me. I was like, Oh, I'm done. Then I came back. Um, you're good for retiring I'm coming not, back though. I retired about 15 times, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's when you rolled out NSC at nationals and then you rolled out the athletes and I was like, yo, I gotta be a part of that. And then I'm like knocking on the door. Miguel, man, you got, I gotta be a part of this. I gotta <laughs> be YouTube. Videos. Yeah. Dude, you, <laughs> yeah. Listen, that, so that's my first, that's my first, actual knowledge of of rob and this is like <laughs> this would have been like you said 2009 it right 2009 like, national uh, uh, or no uh was it illinois that i, I think, think it was, I think it was or, yeah or Wayne, or, uh, i forget what it one, was. Of yeah. one of them yeah one of them it's a, it's over there yeah somewhere yeah up there yep northern ish <laughs> yeah. midwest ish but no but I, but i remember that i, I I'll, I'll never forget Watching these YouTube videos of Rob, I don't, I don't know this guy yet, right? And he's just talking mad shit, <laughs> right? And it was yeah, like, let me tell you, this, was, this was cool, right? Like, I would have had about 15 black suits. <laughs> I said, oh my he God. literally was kidding. baited us into him being the announcer. He's like, give me a shot. <laughs> and then yeah. we were yep. like, who is this dude? And I've known Rob forever, but like me and Rob were like, you know, we were homies from skating. Like, I didn't know he really wanted to take this serious. And then I was like, oh, like, this, it's funny, but it's not why he's doing it. He's not doing it to be funny. He's, he's like, trying to Yo. get on. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to get on. Yeah, he's trying to get on, man. He's because trying to be a part saw, of it. Because I saw what it was, and, and I was super excited because, in a way, I shared the same vision that Miguel and all of us do and was like, man, like, our sport could be so much cooler than what it is. <laughs> yeah, what it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm like – Miguel's doing this. I'm like, I got to be a part of it. Sure. You know. Well, I so think if it's I, me I, grabbing a mic and doing and and doing what I'm doing now. Cool. If it's me putting my singlet on, strapping up, showing these singlet. young boys. <laughs> I love that you call it a singlet. By the way, <laughs> yeah, that, I'm that totally thing. kidding. But, but that but that was the old frame. I'm gonna strap on my singlet. I'll show these young boys. You know, and, and sure. now it, you know it's it's cool to see where it is. Fast forward 10 years. Plus, yeah, you know. yeah, exactly. I, so I, and cool. I know it's kind of crazy to even to think that way. Like 10 years ago is when I mm. first knew about Rob. Like seems like I know him my whole life, right? But, yeah. like, but again, like this is something that brought, uh, I think, the best out of people that really love this sport. And, and not just love it, because I think there's a lot of people that love skating, but they have no idea like how to make it mainstream yeah right how to make it attractive how to make it or just make better it, yeah, yeah. But just better like yeah. how, how to make people that have never seen it really like it mm -hmm. and i think that's what draws all obviously all I, of us together but continuing to I draw people the, to the league the most important thing is the authenticity right and so like the whole vision came from this idea so at nationals every year for all the listeners you, if you've been skating for a long time you know exactly what i'm talking about the, the last night of nationals is always a party. And I think that's why people look forward to this, right? Because you got to remember, like, when you go to nationals, it's, what, seven, eight days Holy of racing. Smokes. And so <clears throat> your parents, when you're a kid at the time, have to go, well, we don't get vacation anymore. So this skating thing better be fun. And after, I mean, this is national championships. So you are so stressed leading up to that. You're training. You're not really mm -hmm. doing anything except being an athlete. On the last day when all that's over, Oh man, skaters let loose. Yeah, I don't gotta tell anybody. Everybody knows what the heck I'm talking about. Right. But my Actually, favorite I have no was. Idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here was my favorite, and this is where a lot of the vision came from. It's the two o'clock in the morning conversations with all your peers that all skate, and everybody's chopping it up and saying like, oh, "I wish it was like this. I wish it was like this. I wish it was like this," and no one's ever got to see the vision through the eyes of the pro athletes, right? Which is like 
they want to be showcased. They want to race for money. Mm -hmm. They want it to be about them. That's what pro athletics is about, right? Yes, a hundred percent. Like, why would you put that much effort into it if nobody notices you, right? And so as that happened, it was like, let's, let's try to showcase it through these eyes. But that all kind of stemmed from those fun parties and everything else and those ideas in those, in those kind of roundtable rooms. And so that's why it's so fun about the podcast is that like everybody gets an opportunity to hear some of these conversations we would be having anyways. Mm-hmm. They're definitely happening. We might, we might as well tell people about them. It's <laughs> the spectacle, right? Like the introductions, the music, the atmosphere. People are coming here for a sporting event. It's a show. They're they're coming. They're they're you know you can get food. You can have a drink. You could you know yeah. I mean and the kids too, right? Like you don't even understand like a lot of these kids that dream to be in NSC. It's because they got to slap the hand. Yeah. Right. Of Brandon, or they got to slap the hand of Jeremy Anderson. And it's funny to me to think that Brandon's old enough now to be behind the scenes when I still think of him as that young kid that me and Jeremy skated with. Right. Right, and and he was like, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I gotta race Jeremy, and then it was like, okay, I'm gonna try to beat Jeremy. Okay, damn, now I'm like behind the scenes, mm-hmm. and the kids were looking at him the way he well, was looking at, you know. I was talking to Brandon um, and a few others about like my 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 opening speech for tomorrow night. And okay, it's the whole generational shift, and that's kind of, and I was talking to my wife Nicole on the plane about it. And I'm like, wow, like we've had a whole generational shift where like I, I, I look out tonight and I see guys like flying like Gabe Lines, James Sadler. I'm like, wow, these dudes are fast. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh wait, S- Steven Carter is racing tomorrow. He's <laughs> yes. 41. You know that like he was like 25 in his prime when those dudes were born. <laughs> no, they weren't born. They weren't no, they weren't born. born. They weren't even born yet. They Those were. kids, they're like 16, 17 years right. old. Right, so that's, that's <laughs> all, you know, so that's insane. It's all, so I think you look at this whole shift and it's like, oh man, you know, some of these, these top guys are not doing it anymore, but like, look who's coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, well, yeah. We talked about that last time. I think yeah. it's, it's nostalgia, right? Like if someone was dominant in your day, that no one can beat. Yeah. Right? Right. right. Like for, for, for us, right? Like Chad dominant, right. right? Nobody can beat Chad, right. but, but for Brand, right? Joey, like nobody can beat Joey. Right. And so now that these other kids have those same kind of role models and idols, I, I just like you said, it's just a definitely a generational shift. I think tomorrow or NSC 33 is going to be insane because I, I saw what some of these younger guys were doing tonight at practice. Oh, and they're, they're crazy, so too. Fast, now. Yeah. Dude. They're, so they're fast. fast. And the girls, too. Oh, my gosh. And the girls. And too. I tell you and what. Oh, sorry, dude. Does everyone know Julie's racing? Oh, yeah, yes. if you guys didn't know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got Julie. That. This is the nostalgia battle right here. We're talking <laughs> yeah, about one is. of the best women speed skaters of all time, who also is in insane shape. I don't know if you guys follow She's her. She's insane. Yeah. Insane shape. So let's That'll see. Let's see what that looks like. I'm. I. I don't even know what to expect. I don't know. If she's going to go out there and smash everybody, if we're going to have, I don't know. And I'm so dang curious. I know, so cool. Well, that's, I think that's part of the, be- the best part about NSC is like, you just, you don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I, I know, I know I've, I, I've obviously been a part of plenty of these events and like, I have this great idea because I know all the athletes, talk to them, watch them skate. And I have this great idea of who's going to win. And it's almost never like that. <laughs> yeah, it never, it never pans out. It never pans out that way. And then, oh, by the way, like the excitement in the air tonight is the new wheels. Oh, well, there's so, that, so, Rob. There's so, that. So people are out there on these new wheels and just dipping on these wheels. And so I'm curious. I'm talking to everybody. Yo, how do you like the wheels? How do you like the wheels? Best wheel I've ever skated on. I'm like, nah, chill. Really? <laughs> really? Well, and, yeah. and, and to be determined, but... There's so much excitement about this event, mm-hmm. NSE 33, I, I so think, much. I think, <clears throat> you know, one thing before everybody gets too excited about the wheels, I want to uh, clarify a few things so everybody understands where we're at with this process. So last podcast we talked about we've been on these test wheels for quite some time, but we were going to make some tweaks that we felt improved right. the wheels. So those tweaks have happened, but again, we're very, very protective of our brand so we have wheels here they don't have labels on them yet this isn't us saying we're going into production with these wheels but i do think after this event we will have enough feedback and have definitive feedback if this is going to be our production wheel or if we need tweaks now from practice whew, people <laughs> looks are, like a production it looks wheel like to me. a production wheel to me Crazy. but but again it, let's watch it, these full right race. because today 
like like you said, a lot of the athletes telling you how much they liked them, mm-hmm. right? Don't let these suckers lose on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, now they're the worst we'll wheel they've ever them. skated, yeah, right? It's, yeah. it's always and that, something and that's, other that, than but, them. Yeah. But I think that's the that's the skater thing to do, mm-hmm. right? You, you never want to look at your training. You never want to look at how you, your race strategy. It's yeah. always the equipment. It's always the variables, you know. Yeah, but I do think, in terms of the equipment, it is a you know that level playing field. Everybody's mm-hmm. on them, and and I do think that you are absolutely going to see some um, some really good things. Um, you know, personally, I. I mean, I know I'm, I, I, you could call me biased if you'd like, but I'm not really that biased because to me, if something's not good, it's not good, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't really, and I'm not, I'm, I know for us as a group. Yeah, we would just shut yeah, up we, about we, it. Yeah, exactly. We're just, yeah. we're, we're not, we're not going we're 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 to stand we're on a table, wheels. you know, yeah. about stuff that isn't actually good. Well, mm-hmm. And so as objective as I can speak, they're good. So here's the, here's the funny story. We, we talked last time on the podcast about why everyone is in this wheel predicament right because people are people people will shank you for a set of wheels right now that's no joke like (laughs) this isn't this i can't even handle fielding the calls and i feel like we're disappointing so many people by not having a wheel ready but at the same time what would be even more disappointing is it is a crappy wheel right well it's way more disappointing so brandon tells me we we realized that the the wheel showed up today Keep in mind, our manufacturer that we work with moved their entire business from California to another state in the midst of this chaos of us rushing them. They still pulled off a miracle and got us uh, a decent quantity of wheels here to, for us to really get that feedback. So wheels come in this morning and Brandon's like, are you going to give them the athletes? I'm like, no, not yet. And he's like, why? I was like, because me and you are going to skate them. <laughs> and if these wheels are good then these guys can skate them. If these wheels suck, no, we're not having 30 people wreck their NSC race because we want to market something that's not good. Luckily, me and Brandon came off the No, it, w- it, was, it was 30 seconds this guy had him on. I, he didn't even skate one <laughs> fast lap. This guy's rolling, and he's just smiling. He's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> these are the ones. I was like, all right, I got to try them. And and they're the ones, right? I yeah. Mean, we posted on the story today, if you don't believe us, Brandon was dipping in, what are you, 15 pounds heavier than race 25. weight? 25. Whoa, whoa, 25. whoa, whoa. <laughs> 25. And he nope. was still yeah. going fast. He's making that money, though. <laughs> That's Thank you. Money, all right? <laughs> He's making that money. Well, I think one thing that was really cool, too, is just, you know, my, my introduction to the, the wheel today, right? I'm, I'm in a car for four hours, so the last thing I want to do is yeah. do a bunch of work. So I get to throw these things on. Sh- exactly, got them car mm-hmm. legs and shake them out a little bit. And I and I felt like the I didn't have to hear any of your guys' feedback, mm-hmm. and I probably gave you the exact same feedback. That's the best because, way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, to not talk about it before you actually. Try yeah, it. because then you don't want anybody's bias. But mm-hmm. you know, it's one of those situations where I think people are going to put this wheel on. They're going to roll around a little bit, and they're going to be grinning like we all were. Well, we saw, we saw all the athletes actually skate a, a full-on practice tonight, probably, yeah. what, two hours, two hours of practice? Yeah. About two hours, yeah. And normally, like, when we've had, you know, open wheel, you know, you, you always hear something about the track, you always hear complaints, but I didn't, I didn't have one no. complaint. Which, and, and, I saw and people, talking to other athletes, mm-hmm. I talked to one of our, our Gabe Lyons, our, mm-hmm. one of our NSC team skaters, and he said that to me, he goes, he goes, not one person has said anything bad. He's like, everybody's saying how good they are. Dude, and Kelly and that is like clean the floor. Yeah, I know. And, 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 and if, if you think about as finicky as <laughs> skaters are, there's got to be one there's person something. out of 25 yeah. that's like, oh, these suck. And right? we literally just put them on a product that they're not comfortable with. And to be honest, and, and have like, never it skated. took me a while to adjust to the profile. Sure. So was, well, everybody's better than me. But <laughs> I feel like they adjusted pretty dang quick. Yeah, well, no, nobody well, nobody mentioned that they weren't able to transition, then, and I think that's important. Yeah, and I started seeing people get more comfortable, and so mm-hmm. they're going faster and faster. And I sat there for two hours. You know, my wife, she was like, what are you doing over there? And I'm like, not I'm just, working. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> he was working. Look, oh, he was you're the state. That's right. I'm the R&D. sizzle. That's right. <laughs> sizzle. That's right. I'll, be working, I'll be working all weekend. You're going to be working all weekend, <laughs> man. That, but... Um, but I, I watched people get more comfortable and going faster and faster, and I'm like, okay. And then people started throwing some passes, mm-hmm. just looking around. No, and it's going to happen. But there was no skirt. Like there was mm-hmm. nothing. Like they're they're diving in a corner and they're slamming these wolves over. And I'm like, whoa. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I don't have a stopwatch. I wasn't recording lap times, but everyone looked comfortable and they were going. 
there, there were a couple times I'm like, <clears throat> Rizzy, these dudes are flying. Like, whoa. So, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, but, but so, I think but something, that, exciting. You, something exciting. that you something that you mentioned that uh, I know we had talked about before in our last podcast, but that ability to slam the wheel. Yeah, right That's to feel. Man. Yeah, right to to be able to feel like you can really mm -hmm. run out of the corner, but then attack the next one is just something that's a little bit different. And I, and I don't know that we had that uh, in the previous wheel. I think it's, and it's more, something that's we'll, definitely we'll be, that we have now. It's more of a confidence thing too. Like if you're in a heat, you know, back when we had, you know, a few heats in the sprints and, you know, you're in second place and you feel third or if you're in third and you feel fourth, you know, a lot of times you're like, I'm not risking, it. I'm going to stay where I am. But now if you have that confidence, you're going to, you're going to throw it every time. 100%. You, you know, you don't want to get bomb passed by fourth and then you end up in, in last place. Or bark. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you go to bar second, bark yeah, out, and go to fourth, and you don't out. make it out. And mm -hmm. just run up on them but the, the, and try to, you know. Speaking of barking the wheels, that's when one of the athletes, I was talking to Caleb <laughs> Wakefield, um, and, and he was, like, trying to bark the wheels. Mm -hmm. And he was, like, telling yep. me how frustrating it was. He's like, I can't bark them. I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to bark the wheel, and I can't bark them. So... Um, so, because uh, I, I want to make it so that we can get out of here at a decent time, selfishly. Um, I, so I want to just kind of touch on the game plan with the wheels, and then let's, like, really cover, you know, a little bit more about the event tomorrow. But yeah. um, for everybody, you know, who's going to tune into this, distributors, coaches, parents, um, I know everybody's chomping at the bit to get a consistent product. Um, once we make this definitive decision on it, then we'll go into production run. At that point, that's when we'll be able to really start offering um, this with larger quantities and inventory. And at mm -hmm. first, it's going to take a little bit because we're so backlogged on, on products, so everyone's going to have to bear with us. But we promise you guys we're so hard at work to try to make this so that if you get used to this wheel, it's not a question or not. You can get yeah, it. Yeah, whether you're going to get them. Do you need to buy 18 sets when you can? No, yeah. you don't have yeah. to, right? Like, yeah. you should be able to get them when you need them. Mm -hmm. um, and, th and that's something that we talked about last time as well. Like, it doesn't really matter how good a wheel is if you can't get it. If you can't get it. Right. I mean, that, that to me, a wheel you can't get is a terrible wheel. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, that wheel sucks, yeah. man, because you can't get it. <laughs> so, but, yeah, let's uh, – I guess one thing that's kind of fun is that we don't get to hear Rob enough. We get to hear Thomas all the time, right? Because you're on the live feed, and then here's this kind of background noise, and you get to see kind mm -hmm. of this tall guy going around getting everybody hyped, but you don't get to really hear him on the live feed. I would love to hear some more insight from Rob on, like, what you're really excited about for NSC 33. What are you looking forward to? Who are the athletes? You know, just I'd love to just Yeah, I'm very upset, that. by the way, because, you know, I see you guys always uh, – Hog in the mic, and I'm like, <laughs> so it was pretty cool. And it was last minute that I found out uh, tonight that we're going to do a podcast. And so I'm like, "Yo, got to get some makeup." Like, <laughs> yeah, makeup. right. Like, yeah, I need to go suit uh, up. Wardrobe, you know, right? So you know, this is clear. No makeup, nothing. <laughs> hey, listen. Hashtag no filter, baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm very. I always get very excited about this event because. I get to see a lot of the up and comers like the Northwest is always, it, I always just love coming here. Cause it, it's uh speed skating is just so cool here. I don't know. Everyone's just so passionate about it. Like we don't, um, I don't know, like where we, we practice, there's like three or four of us and you know, we do our thing. So it's just cool to come here and see like just the passion. So I'm excited to see some of the young up and comers. I think everybody gets real excited about this event. And I think it's really cool that we incorporate um, a the lot. Kids. The kids. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's the, huge because that's so, the future, right? Because when you're an athlete, man, you want that. Mm -hmm. You want to be recognized. You want that attention. You want to be, you know, not necessarily catered to, but I mean, geez, I mean, these guys, gals are working hard. And so how cool is it that we incorporate them into the NSC event tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. So. Really cool to see some exciting racing during the Invitational, but then it's like, hey, we're going to put your name in light. You make a final, we're putting your name in lights tomorrow night. Yeah, we're that's, my, I think, my favorite part about this event is that, like, if you're someone who's never seen speed skating before and uh, you come and watch pros, it's kind of hard to comprehend that they started at such a Yeah, like, how age. did they get there? Exactly. Yeah, and so for us— These kids run, didn't just start out doing that. Exactly, right? <laughs> and so we run from primary to freshman— and so I think that, like, a lot of times, especially if you have children, you enjoy watching the kids even more than you do the pros because you're like, oh, my God, that's cool. And when an eight-year-old is just flying, you're just like, <laughs> you're like why are you doing so that? Fast? And they get to rub elbows with 
the pros. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. They're, yeah. So they're in the, like you're saying, they're in the ready sport. area with the pros, and yeah. you know they get a chance to probably talk to them yeah. a little bit back there. And you just don't get that in other sports. And I don't know about you guys. Like I feel confident with the NSE athletes that they're good people. Yeah. That, sure. Like, For sure. Like, yeah. Man, like these, they're paving the way. For, uh, it is something we talk things. about, right? Is that mentorship yeah, aspect of that, and from from even the outside here is something that we talk about. Just even outside of skating, is that our goal for this, right? This isn't a big money sport. We'd love for it to be, but at the end of the day, like you're not going to do this and be set for the rest of your life. But for us, it really matters to leave the mark. And so we are talking to the kids constantly about like we want to be here for you after skating. We want be you to be thinking about what you're doing mm-hmm. after skating and I think when you pass that on, I think that they're going to pass it on. I really do, right? And because and, I'm watching Brandon do it now, right? Sure. And that was something yeah. that we got to do. Paying it forward, no doubt. So, yeah, man. And I think that just bringing the energy for these kids, even during the day, during the invitational, it's like, you know, just make it fun and exciting, mm-hmm. you know, and get the crowd excited, get the fans excited. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm really looking forward to, like we talked about earlier, man, this next generation. I'm seeing some of these younger guys now, 16, 17, 18 years old, that are just... That's kind of the age, too, right? So it's, yeah, man, it's interesting because we've seen this whole first generation of of guys. You're, um, I mean, geez, uh, Jeremy Anderson, Michael Cheek, Chad Horn, um, Joey, I mean... Uh, and and some of these guys are still doing like like Carter and, mm-hmm. and uh, you know Stelly. I don't I don't think he's coming to this event, but he's still you know he was happy. trying to. He yeah. he he actually was locked in and then had a and so a change. So, so now it. you have this kind of just like movement in a sense. Like mm-hmm. oh my gosh, this next wave. You know, uh, Adrian. You know, was won multiple black suits. You know, Zach. You have Gabe coming up. So. That's exciting to me. Well, let, let's do this because I think this would yeah. be fun. So Predictions? Predictions. Yep. Oh, so, man, uh, that's ooh, hard, man. Yeah. Wait, are we, we got to break it down, though. We got to yeah. go by category, then we got to go by grand champ. Oh. All right. Oh, Definitely. Man. So we'll, we'll go through this, and we'll end on, on that note with, that's good. Uh, with predictions. So essentially, we'll go uh, – we'll hit guys first, so sp- uh, sprint endurance. Uh-huh. Um, shortest race is a tiebreaker, by the way. So you still get awarded for individual race, but you're – Shortest race is tiebreaker. It distance longest race is tiebreaker, and then let's guess the fastest man on skates, grand champion, and then let's do the same oh thing for God. the girls. <laughs> that's a lot. That's man, a I, man, that's, a, that's okay. loaded, man. Yeah. Yeah. Put put us on the spot, but I think that's good. Who okay. wants to go first? What are we starting with? I'll go first with the grand champ. Wait, dude, you can't start no, no, with no. the grand we champ. We have to end with grand champ. Yeah, end with the grand champ, just right, like the man. event, dude. All right, all Come right. on, so let's start with sprints, let's man. Sprints. Yeah. Let's Who sprints. is going to be the sprint champ? Let's go. Let's go, guys. First, then we'll let's hit go, the guys. Goal. First, I'm, I'm gonna go on a wing, and I'm gonna say the endurance guy, Caleb's gonna take it. Is Caleb? I thought it's Caleb skating Caleb's sprints. Caleb's sprints. He is skating sprints. He's yeah, sprints. he he won the 300 last time. Exactly. Yeah, so that's 32. why he's taking. Yeah, that's he's what I'm taking. taking. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, yeah, thought, yeah. I thought he was. You just think about endurance it. every time yeah. someone says Caleb because he's so good at endurance. Yeah. Well, I thought uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he said the endurance guy for sprints. Oh, endurance guy for sprints. That makes a lot more sense. Go hit your whole list. Let's go down the line. Endurance, oh man, endurance is scrappy. It's scrappy. It's so scrappy. You got a lot of fast guys. I'm gonna take. Uh, you guys already know. I gotta take take the homeboy, Michael Pasquarella. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm with that. He's a grinder, I can, I can man. He's a grinder. I disagree, but that's all right. Well, he's listen. He, <laughs> he he told me he would been, been a little bit under the weather, so I, you know that might influence my. That's good. My prediction. When you're under the, the weather, that's when you. Are you talking you about the flu? You the t- like like Michael Jordan, the flu game? Yeah, so you always yeah, skate you the could, best when you're could. just when you just get off being sick. That's Junior's true. a grinder, though. I wouldn't be shocked if. I don't know if he watches. You know, if you watch some of the Facebook videos. All right, he's, women he's going kind of fast. Hit we gotta we gotta move on. I got I gotta I gotta I gotta think about the women. We'll go, guys. We'll come back around. So I'll go. Okay, sprints. In his final hurrah, as thought. <laughs> yeah, final. that's as that nostalgia right there. Off. Because I'm telling you, this dude's showing up hungry. He is showing up hungry. Well, he's the only guy I've ever seen in my entire life make three corner passes in a 300 that's meter true. race. He's going to outrace these guys. I'm what? telling you, I, I, dude, he's going to have Chuck Norris legends <laughs> after this. He really does. He's <laughs> yes. like, he's that type of dude. Is Gabe he racing is. his friends though? Nope. No. Nope. 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 Oh, okay, because he's a freaking monster. Um, S dot. So I'll go with him, and then. Um, S. Dot, the, whole, 
do not disappoint me. You better be in bed. <laughs> get your get in. Get in. Get to. That's not happening. Get your Pedialyte in. Get your. In a, you're, you you want him to win. He can't do any of those things if he's gonna win. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. Gotta be out all night. Do, do you, bro? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so we'll go endurance. Um, uh, I got to go with Adrian. Adrian Workman. Okay. That's, That's pretty solid, man. None I, you of know these what? guys you can really just man. It's yeah, tough. Chalk off. Adrian, yeah. It's tough. In, in the sprints, man. Based off what I've seen, just kind of in the warm-up stuff, mm-hmm. NSC 32, it's hard to go against my guy Caleb, too, man. I, I got to go with Caleb Ooh, in the sprints, too. I'm saying, man. man. He's, he's kind of a so, monster He's right so now. well-rounded. If you he get is. him in a champions race, dude. And, 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 and his, his start has just been impressive. Like, oh, yeah. I, I, he just did not have if that he's up front, five it's, years ago. I, I just don't see really anybody getting around no, him. I, and I he doesn't make too it. many mistakes. I don't really see him the type of guy that really – you know, makes a classic. No. And he couldn't bark the wheel, so he should be he good. Yeah. Him. So I'm going Caleb in the sprints for sure. Endurance, I'm throwing the wild card out there. I'm taking. Oh, I'm, I'm throwing the wild card out there a little bit because I've seen this dude and I've seen mm-hmm. the work, body of work he's put together and he's he's got a bunch of confidence. I'm going with my guy Gabe Lyons, man. Gabe's oh. I'm going with my guy Gabe Lyons. Way, he's gonna be, mm-hmm. It's going to be the first time for him getting on the podium, but I, I believe that he's going to – win at least one of those distance races and that'll put him up mm-hmm. enough points to get the endurance shift. I saw Gabe skating tonight at practice and people like he would pick up some laps and guys would like try to follow him behind him and he, when he turned it on he was waxing everybody. Well, yeah, like, I think he was, I, he was pulling on everybody. So, if he could, yeah. if he can find a way to to just be near the front mm-hmm. with 3 to go, I just think his top end speed right now is really good. But there's some guys under pressure there, there's some fast hey practice man, you, guys. Listen, you already well, got I, to pick your pick, man. I'm under yeah, pressure, on my man. Pick, man. I'm just it's letting my you know. Turn, actually. He's, <laughs> hating, he's hating on my pick okay, right I'm now. I'm just letting I you guys know. <laughs> practice Do you think is it's thing. my yeah, turn no, now? No, no. Sprints, uh, taking Mamba. Um, remember, the three is the tiebreaker. And remember, you have, in my opinion, Alex Holmes on the line. Oh, man, he Carter. can be Crazy Alex legs can go. Alex now. has been... Yeah, crazy legs. I can feel go like you now. got two or three people who could potentially beat Caleb off the line. Mm-hmm. Mo's hit or miss. When Mo actually leaves the line when the gun goes, he wins the start. Mo, for some <laughs> reason, like lets most everybody. Most people do. But like, yeah. Mo can beat most people on the start. Yeah. Um, and you got to remember that if Mo wins the start, guess what Carter's doing in the first corner, wrecking everybody. Mm-hmm. Wrecking. And that's how Mo won one of the races last time was Carter was just corner passing people and Mo was getting away. So I'm going to take yeah, Mo, Mo the, in, in third NFC 31, Mo won the five. Yeah. And he's more likely, in my opinion, to win the three. So I'm going to take Mamba for sprints. Then for distance, I'm shocked that none of you guys threw uh, Sadler's name out because I think he is a very, very viable option. I mean, I would we're splitting hairs. We're, yeah, we're, we're taking one, two, but, three. But, uh, uh, you know. I'm gonna, Sadler's I'm a gonna, dude, too. Sadler, he, I mean, he's one of those hybrid guys, too, that I think could be a sprint. He could be. He could do both. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, really sure. good. Which, no, by the way, good. get him in the eight lapper. Grand what, hold on now. Hold you on. get your pick for that. <laughs> you get your pick finish. for that. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take Adrian. I'm gonna take Adrian just because Adrian's the dude oh, that it, like it's not even. Wait, about, wait, wait, wait. So you're off Sadler now? I was just saying that I'm shocked none of you guys even threw the name out. Uh, wait, so oh, so that's, that's not, not your pick. pick. No, it's not my pick. Oh, okay, okay. No, okay. my pick's Adrian. Well, we were wait. talking about our, our favorite picks. I'm tra- <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're, we're talking we're, about number one. I was, <laughs> Come I was on, man. Just, we were talking about everybody that could be in the mix. You guys didn't. That's all I was saying. So I'm, I'm going to take Adrian. I think Adrian uh, is just that guy that if the race is, is getting away from him, <laughs> for some reason he just performs like the further a guy's out, he just goes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I will He's never forget that. That would have been. Yeah. It was a couple, couple, two years ago. It would have been in, in Nebraska when Brian Talley went on this super attack and was like a, yeah, a half God. a lap in front of everybody yeah. with with three to go, and Adrian just kept. On going. Tally was in a different state. He yeah. was. <laughs> he was, he was in Kansas yeah. at that point. Yeah. But yeah, no, Adrian definitely, definitely a good pick too. So women three, sixteen, right? So that at, mm-hmm. for this event, um, we're not splitting up uh, the women. The women do have heats in the three hundred, no heats in the distance. So they're going to race a three, sixteen, eight, and, and then the hundred, of course, right? So mm-hmm. Man, the the tough. sprint is one race. Yeah. So that's your your pick. Who's going to win the three? Oh, man. man. Man, that's Someone tough. Three. I'm trying to think. Actually, it's not. I don't think it's that tough. I think. Going back to you. I think. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll start down here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll go in order. I think Kayla Duke's going to win it hands down. Yo. Ooh. The sprint. But she has to get there she first. She has to make it through. She Remember, she's, she, she, has to, she still has to get there. She's not actually in NSC 32. Oh, yeah, Kayla's not even in, huh? Dang. Yeah, she's still got to make her do. But, just, I, but I do think she's going to Listen, but I do think she's going to have a, a great opportunity yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to make that mm-hmm. sprint spot in the women's division, no doubt. <laughs> he picked a pick that's not even an option. Put her in. <laughs> Put her in. <laughs> Put her in veto. That's how that's how strong tryouts are. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. Already exactly. assume someone who's not even ever skated a single race in the league was gonna win. That's crazy to me. No man. So now you gotta pick know. someone that's actually racing. I think Julie might just walk away with all of it. Ooh. So you're making two picks <laughs> right in a row. He's making four picks. Wow. He just, just picked gonna, the three, I'm just gonna go the 16, out. the eight, and the 100. And he said Julie for all of I'm it, just the, gonna, the, the whole gusto. I mean, there's going to be some girls that are going to be salty that I said that, but I'm just going to say it. That's okay. They won't know until you after. You just don't know. Like, <laughs> no, we're putting this out tomorrow if we can. They won't watch it. Oh, geez. Don't put it out before the race. Or yeah, else. we got to, dude. I'll they, terrify. They, they won't get this far in the podcast. <laughs> no, they you know, won't. They'll have to wait till they get back on the plane mm-hmm. or something. All right, man. It's it's, right, it's your Rob, time now. This is tough, man. I'm trying to think of of girls that have a um, that have the best starts. Um, you know what? Let's just make it simple. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mackenzie. She's oh, gonna get her first win. That man, was my that's, pick. That's Mackenzie's a, that's gonna a, win the three. That's a pretty Dang. solid. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Ken's. She's been on the ice, not really doing a whole lot of inlining, but the start doesn't really go away. I saw her working on her starts tonight at practice, so. I'm going to go with Ken's um, to get the win and uh, Kelsey. Kelsey um, by a landslide in the 1600. Ooh, landslide. landslide. Yeah, What's a landslide? You gotta... uh, she's, she'll win by at least a corner. Wow. Ooh, wow, that's, <laughs> wow, that's bold. Yeah. That is bold. I really wish I could go cool. way outside the box, but I mean, I'm just looking at the field. Mm-hmm. Okay. We don't have the grand champion. No Francesca. She's not in the mix. Aaron Jackson skate nice. Corey Stoddard skate nice. I just don't see anybody beating Kelsey, period. And remember, it's, remember, remember it's, not, it's not Kelsey Helm anymore. It's Kelly, Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey Rogers. Rogers. Oh, excuse me. Shout out to Kelsey Rogers now. Yeah. Excuse me, yes. But, uh, but that's my pick. I, I'm going Kelsey wins the three. Kelsey wins the 1600. That, that is my pick. Sticking with it. I'm going to take Kelsey for all four races. You're not going nostalgic, Julie? Nope. No, and, uh, <laughs> not not because I don't not because I don't respect um, Julie and her capabilities. It's that when you come back off of having that big time period off your skates, and she ain't never raced Kelsey of, before. It, it takes a little bit of time. That has to, she raced to, her before? No, they're yeah, she's never raced. Gap. I was gonna say they've never it raced. It takes too together. long to knock the the rust off. If this was maybe three NSCs in, and Julie got back in the swing of things in racing, it's a little bit different. But it's like. It's like when you take a long time off of boxing, like you can't just assume that that boxer is going to. But let me tell you why Julie has a chance. Oh, she has a chance. She's oh, Julie. there's let no me doubt. Tell you yeah. why. She's Julie. Because, and, and Julie would, Julie's a, I mean, her accomplishments speak for yeah. itself. I she's mean, a she's winner. She's a monster. She's in better shape now than she's, she's ever mm-hmm. been. Um, but this racing is just different. We all know that. But when you take out Corey, you take out Cheska, you take out Aaron. It's such an equalizer. You're starting to make and a it, good point, and, and I know it, where you're going. And it, and it's, um, it, it dials everything. Uh, not necessarily dials it back, but it, it, um, it opens up that space. And Julie's a racer. She's dude. one sure. of the best She's racers. I've seen. Yeah, absolutely. She's one of the best I've I, I, ever I, seen. Yeah. So I would say, um, if anybody has a chance to beat overall Kelsey tomorrow, it's it's Julie. I don't know if she's been skating inside. It's I, I can't wait to watch. I'm so excited to see her back racing. But she has a chance. I literally watched a YouTube video two days ago when Julie and Cheryl were, <laughs> were sophomore so ladies. <laughs> they, could they, ra- they could have raced yeah. right now in NSC it during was, that time. It frame. was unreal. But, but to speak to your point, in that particular race, Julie had a really good race strategy. She stuck to her guns, and she won that race. And so I could, I could, I could definitely see where you're coming from, but I still ain't changing my pitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and it's a totally what I'm so excited about. Uh, I'm hoping that we get an opportunity to see some heads up racing between the two, because their racing styles are completely different. Julie skates big. She skates and protects the track. She likes to control the races. 
What does Kelsey do? Not that. She shadows. <laughs> shadows yeah, yeah. It's the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. It's like my favorite style. <laughs> heads up. They don't even. They're like. It's like wrestler and boxer, right? Like that's mm-hmm. the type of yep. matchup we get to see. And, and my sleeper will be Jasmine Foster. Ooh. I was kind of thinking. Ooh. Listen, that, Jasmine, that was almost my Jasmine's, sprint pick there. Jasmine's going. To, Jasmine might take the three. Actually, she's solid. She and, and she. And she's starting to really be consistent. She's coming to her own. Mm-hmm. Right, where she's getting medals now every NSC. Yeah. And she's, and like she's a, definitely a sleeper for sure. Yep. The thing is, is in the women's division that there's multiple women who can hit the speed, but there's a lot of young women who are coming up who aren't used to that kind of racing yet. Yeah, 100%. So like, Paige Dawson, Alexis yep. Sebastian, they're yeah, all, they're they can fast. all go they really go fast. fast. Yeah. But boy, they just haven't, like you said, they have not been exposed to that level of mm-hmm. racing in, in, in terms of the experience. Right. Yeah. They've raced them, but but we're talking about some of these ladies that have 25 races like that in yeah. where they have three or four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Very different. All right. Grand Guy, championship. No, oh, sorry 100, about that. 100, 100, 100? first. So so Brandon will hit the 100 Ooh. and then we'll go down the line. We'll make it quick and then we'll do their predictions on the grand champion. I don't know if I can take 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 my homeboy. I think I might take James Sadler for the 100. Ooh. Gabe Lyons. Gabe Lyons. Gabe Lyons. That kid. He, he's, he's just going, going fast, he just, man. He likes to go fast. He's going oh, fast, man. If you man. let him go fast with no one else on the track. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that dude's he hard might, to beat. He might surprise himself. He, yeah. Yeah. He skates in the corners where I'm like, I'm not going. Nah, nah, dude. I got to work tomorrow. I'm not going to the corner <laughs> like that. <laughs> I saw that dude ribbon tonight. And I, I watched videos from, you know, I watched him in the Nationals last year. I watched Emerald Coast. I watched him tonight. I think he might be the most hungry too. He, yeah. really he is very is hungry. He's hungry right now, and he loves skating. He loves skating right what's, now. And when you're yeah. having fun and you're hungry. And what's awesome about Gabe is I remember him telling me last year, uh, before his first time he could actually try out for NSC, and he told me that all he wanted to be was a grand champion. You know, some kids are talking about you know winning world championships, and that's mm-hmm. that, and that's obviously a very I mean, great yeah, goal yeah, as well. Yeah, sure. I think they're two different things. But for him to say that that's what he, that's all he cares about doing, right? And and now you're seeing him where he can, he has the ability now, and he's got a little bit more experience now. Mm-hmm. I definitely see him going faster than everybody else. <laughs> all right, grand champ. No way, you got you women's, don't want to pick the women's. women's we already did. Women's fastest. Women's fastest. Oh, he said oh, all true. Julie. That's true. I didn't pick a women's 100 oh, meter champ. Woman on skates. He said. All Kelsey for everything. I, said I didn't all say that. So you're the only one who haven't picked. Well, then women. let me let me pick. Hit it. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm going. Go. Listen, I'll, 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 I'll take Kelsey for the hundred. Though. Yeah, no, you I, said listen, her for I'm, everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Hit. with Foster. I'm gonna say Jazzy. That's a good pick. Ooh, That's a good pick. Gets it going. I remember in NSC 32, she was in that top five, right? I think some of those other girls that were in that top five are not here. And I just think this might be her opportunity to really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think mm-hmm. this is her time to really, like you said, no one's on the track. She's got that powerful long stride. I, I, I think she can get it done. Nice. All Grand right. champ. Yeah. Champ. <sighs> okay. Let me explain why I'm taking. <laughs> let me explain why I'm taking this pick. There's no wrong answers. It's true. Um, so we have James. This is what I'm going to think the last two laps. You got James, Adrian, Gabe. Those guys are probably going to be in the top three. Every single time I've seen James in the mix with Adrian and Gabe, something crazy happens. Yeah. And if those three guys are up front and James or Adrian or Gabe throw a bomb pass, my guy Junior, Michael Pascarella, we've been working on it. <laughs> yeah, you've waiting been waiting for the up? jam. You yep. already screwed up your logic. You just named Why? four endurance guys in the grand champion race. So one of those guys has to win the 100 in order That's to have four That's what he said. He said Sadler, right? What are you talking about? What's that? Didn't he, didn't he take Sadler for 100? So here's the thing, though. Then that means that Sadler, if he wins the 100, the other three guys have to be top three in endurance. Yeah. To, to get those four in there, that for formula sure. is a really hard formula to even have them in the race. It's okay. Okay, man. well, hypothetically. It's possible. Hypothetically. This, listen, this guy tells you could, there's no wrong answer. Yeah. Then he, te- then he, yeah. <laughs> then he craps on your answer. Anyways. What kind of guy's that? Getting to my point. Okay, my well, let's, take one, let's take one of the guys out. One of the three, and Michael Pascarell is in it. I think James is going to be in it if he wins the 100. You got Adrian or Gabe. That's going to most likely be in it. And I think Michael Pascarell is going to set it up for the win. Dang. And no love to even a sprinter in the race. No, no, you know, it's I a don't tough think. race. Yeah. How many sprinters have won? Two? I, I know, but 
Caleb, if he makes it in the Grand Champion, he's not a real. That's like, true. He's not. He's so not he's a, a guy. True if you let him go sprinter. up to it with that's and, his and race. Pound eight laps, yeah, that's his race. That sucks for Yo, everybody. This is he so, can do it. This is so hard uh, because I, I think about who you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mean, Junior is a monster right now. I mean, Junior. I, I watched the videos from Emerald Coast. He was smashing people. That how how many laps was the? They did nine. nine laps. It was nine, nine, laps. nine right? Nine laps. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, he could have kept going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but since you picked him, because I, uh, ooh. this is tough, man. This this is that's gonna be the race. Caleb's gonna get it. I'll, I'll go with Caleb. Okay, I like first black okay. suit, mm -hmm. and that'd be cool to see. That would be cool yeah, to because see. because he's a he's a hammerhead too, man. He These is. guys. And, and then you add in Gabe, you add in Adrian. These guys, I mean, they'll sprint eight laps. So I'll go with Caleb. Man, I, I'm going to go, you know, this is crazy that I'm going to go with the experience pick here mm -hmm. because who I'm talking about doesn't seem like they should have this much experience. Right. Adrian Workman, man. Yeah. Adrian Workman, man. He's, He's a two time yep. grand champ. I, I just think, again, your scenario you talked about, I think he's going to be in that top three. I think he has this very strange instinct to just just win, like where he's just going to be in the mix and he's going to be right there. I just I just see Adrian in the men's division pulling it off. Yeah, that's my pick too, um, for obvious reasons. Which is this guy won it at like what 15, 15, 15 years old. He was fifteen years old. And so when you win it with no experience and you're getting older mm -hmm. and stronger. It's hard to bet against him because the times he didn't win it, he's battling with Stoppelmore, the other guy who keeps yeah. going back and forth, and Stoppelmore is not at this event. What I am wondering about is that normally a guy like Zach is a guy who likes to pound, and Adrian's a guy who likes to chase. Mm -hmm. If you take Zach out of the race, is this a slow race? Is this going to no. creep and no, then they're going to be strategic, no or is someone going to go up and pound? Caleb if pound. Caleb's in the race, I don't think. Yeah, <clears> I don't think. I just don't think he can be. And the with the unique sprinters we have in, if Carter and Mo make that race, whoa, that's going to be a weird race because those guys are going to be doing a lot of chaotic stuff in that race. And if you mix that with all those young kids, oh with these, my. it's going to be. Because Mo, cause, I mean, if if Mo's in in that race, he wins the start. Carter's gonna do some something <coughs> wild in the first corner, and Mo stays fit. And it's hard. He stays in shape. I don't know if you guys have been. I know you guys have been behind Mo. Mo is incredible. No matter what so the speed is, he's so hard. The way that he skates is incredibly hard to pass. So if you have him, and he's a big person too. And he just he's a big and he jams. Guy. His too. pattern doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So he's so hard because you try to tie him off of his pattern, and his pattern's different than everybody's. So you run into the back of him, and then he's the fastest person in NSC from the exit cone to the other cone, and maybe the slowest person <laughs> entering. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. So it's bizarre. And oh, by the way, I want nothing more than Carter to win his I'd first black suit. <laughs> yes. I want nothing more. I just, I, man, I hope he could do it. I hope he has a leg straight laps. I hope. Oh man! If I it's would love slow, that. he's got I, a real opportunity at winning I that race. I will lose my mind if Carter wins. I will. I mean, I will scream louder than you. Like, <laughs> I, I will blow. He's you will lose, you will lose all professionalism. Yep. Yes. And I. And <laughs> he's I, all hugging him inside. <laughs> yeah. Is that the announcer for NSC? Yes, it yeah. is. And I it, like. I'll go hug him, like tackle him. But because I know he he does want it bad. Oh, he wants it. He, yeah. That's why he's he's coming here. That's he why he's here exactly. He wants to and, win. And I, and I, you know, now I'm thinking I shouldn't have bet against him because I do think he has what it takes if he can just get himself in the right position mm -hmm. in the races, because he has the experience. Yeah. One thing it. about that old school, so I hope he gets it. old school crew of guys is that if they are in second place, regardless if the pass is there or not, it's, it's, happening. it's, it's happening. going to happen, it's happen period. It's happening. Like, yeah. You're not going to let a guy like Carter sit in second place with $1,000 on the line. And I don't even think he cares about the money. This dude's chasing the suit. No, he wants that suit. Yeah. He's throwing the pass. Oh, yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. And nobody pa – who passes better than Carter, really? I mean, it's debatable, but he's – He can pass. So. Mm -hmm. Arguably the best I've seen. So. Well, what about the women? Did we all make our I, I know I, I made my pick. I already pick. called my pick. I made my pick. Yep. I, I hope it's a good race. I, I hope that um, Julie mixes it up, but it's, it's so hard to bet against Kelsey, right? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. taking she, Kelsey, She's too. consistent, and, that, and I think that's the thing about her. She's been really, really consistent over the last three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you kind of 
take out some of the other kind of big hitters. I just think it, it creates this situation where there's a bit of a vacuum where mm -hmm. she can truly focus on her strategy with, like you said, it's a shadow who's ever in front mm -hmm. and throw it down mm -hmm. on him in the last lap. Yep. So, no, I, I'm, I'm really excited so, and you know, I just want to make sure this, this is all on video so all my picks are right. <laughs> Okay, and we get on this we, next we gotta, podcast. We, we got to get like, you, you know, when you're watching like the NFL games, right? yes. yeah, it's like the teams on the bottom. We got to put, we got to put our picks on the bottom. I love it. Ron, right now, Ron, right now, Ron, Ron just got Ron signed up for more that? work. Can you put the picks on there? All right. Ron can do anything. Ron can do anything. If there's a thing that is in the digital world, it'll it'll happen. <laughs> love it. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, and it's okay. Okay. three man. It'll be show. awesome. And you know, you got these Bigfoot wheels right around the corner. I think there's a lot of. Really exciting things going on at NSC, man. Cool. All right, guys. All right. All right. Peace.